It's not very warm this morning, is it? Must be cold if I'm feeling it. I've only just come out of bed, so... Alright. <laughs> it's still snugly warm. Oh, yes. yes. So what's the plan today? Um, we've been wanting to do busier junctions, haven't we? Okay. So I don't know whether to... We, we did a bit of that last time, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I crossed one up, so I did one. Cool. Um, so hard to find. And those left onto a busy road. Okay, so if we... Um... If we just did some sort of general driving about, um, popping back and forward across, you know, the main road into Pontefract, if we just sort of crisscrossed that mm. up and down, I think we'll work a route to go around there. Um, but that might bring in uh, some pedestrian crossings and traffic traffic lights, yeah, which is sort of jumping a, a little bit of the water ahead. Do you want to do you want to maybe amalgamate those two? Does that yeah. seem like a plan? Yeah. T tell me what you know about traffic lights. When it's green you can go, when it's red not. <laughs> okay. Any, anything else we need to be aware of? Um, like bikers and stuff, bikers can use them. They, they can, so if you were sat like, waiting for the light to go, what might you what might you do because of that? Handbrake, mm -hmm. neutral. Yeah. What else? When to set off. Would you have to use blind spots? I would probably have a check just in case somebody's come up on the inside. Um, other things you could do, maybe wind your window down a little bit so you can hear them come up. But just be aware that people might come up that way, pedestrians might come around that way. Um, the other thing to worry about, of course, is if somebody jumps the red light coming the other way. So I think it's always probably policy just to just to have a look as you're going over and be ready just in Don't case. Don't always like trust the lights, really. Mm. Yeah. Is there anything else that, that might come through a red traffic light? Fire engines, policemen, oh, ambulances. Yeah. They'll normally put the music on to let you know. Um, and some of them have like a sound as well, which gives you like an idea of the direction they're coming from. Um, we're going to probably do some, do some video on how to do that, but I think the key thing, I, I think always is, if there's one about, assume they're going to somebody you know, mm. and get out of the way. Um, but they're trying to get past us, so probably just drive normally. If you've got the opportunity, pull out of the way, but you mustn't like go through a red light to get out of the way, that sort of stuff, mm. you end up getting done. Uh, and we might go come across some pedestrian crossings if you're comfy with them, you know what the deal is there? Yeah, if someone's waiting, you have to stop. Okay. Should we just deal with them as we come with them? Yeah. Rightly ho. Anything else? So we're sort of, just to clarify, we're going to do some busier junctions, but because we've got to go over pedestrian crossings and traffic lights, we'll just deal with them as we come to them? Yeah. Feel yeah. comfy with that? Anything you want to find out? Or are you happy to just go for it? I trust you, Bob. <laughs> well, that's good, because I trust you too. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. And then let's have a look at what targets we've met once we get to the end of it. Put my glasses in my pocket. You might need them. Yeah. Well, technically you don't, because you can read the number plate at the distance, but uh, mm -hmm. it makes things a bit sharper. Uh. Just a little bit. It's a bit more safer. A tiny bit. You're so tall. <laughs> How's it should be, like... So that you're comfy, and you can reach everything. Without, you know, without your legs stretching and, and get around the steering without your arms stretching. I feel too close and I feel too far back. Maybe the height adjustment may come a bit. I don't know. Have a play around if you're comfy. Good morning. Righty ho, when you're ready, off we go. Sort my glasses out. Let's make myself look beautiful. <laughs> I'm only joking. Alright, okay then. Got everything you need for college? Yeah. Onwards and upwards? Got everything. Down to the bottom and take the road to the right. Oh, yeah, there's one more thing I need to tell you oh, actually. Go on, then. Before we set off. Um, Someone told me that 
you can't it's you can get done for doing what I do. No. Because apparently you need to put your gas down. No. And then find it. No. Because it, it makes you stall more and I stall all the time. But it's not because you're doing that. Remember last week when we were talking about that, what, was, what caused the stall? Was it the fact there was no gas on or was it the fact you hurried? Hurried a bit, but... Mm. Okay. Ask your Claire, she did all of her manoeuvres with no gas on. And she sometimes pulled away with no gas on. The key mm. thing is, you must be in control of the car. Have a look on the form, actually. On oh, the test form. It's too small there. Move off safely under control. So it doesn't matter? No. It's part that's like coasting or something? No. no so I, don't know. I don't know where you got that information from, but it's incorrect. Okay, then. I'll ignore them. That's fine. They're making me worry, I'm like, I could drive fast. I mean, this is part of the problem, is that everybody wants to give you advice, because they're, they're trying their best to be helpful. And because it's different, maybe, to the way they did it, they think it's wrong. But as long as you're in control of the car, that's all that matters. And you clearly are. I haven't crashed yet. Which would? <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Let's not change that today. <laughs> no. So... The advice they normally give is that you should set the gas. You should teach your learners that way because sometimes they'll be driving underpowered cars and they might stall afterwards. Well, this is an underpowered car and you manage it fine. Mm. Right at the end of the road. Right. I'm wanting to go then. <laughs> So when you first pulled away, you didn't use gas this time, you did. Don't mind. Right at the end of the road. You control the car each time. All that matters. Right. Yes, please. Interesting. Because they always use that rate sharp. It's horrible. You were ready for it, though. I was. So that what you've just done there is the perfect use of that, because you've just edged forward to get the view. Roundabout and allow you to follow the road ahead into the third exit. Third exit. Yeah, you always say ahead, I always get it wrong. <laughs> so. Fuck that car. So like that, yeah? Yep. So ahead in this instance could be either of these two. for some reason. It's not normally quite on a Friday, isn't it? Well, it was Friday, isn't it? Mm. I don't know. I thought when I was driving across, I thought there's not much happening this morning. I've got a day off work. Oh. Still got college light, but still. At the end of the road, turn the road to the left. Oh, yeah, this is a slightly busier one, sometimes. It's not going to do us much good this morning, is it, if we're trying to do busier junctions and there's no traffic? This one's a difficult one, isn't it? it because of the view you get mm. and the speed of the traffic comes down here. When we get to the roundabout, we'll turn right down towards the copper. Alright. always mean you're going to get it, of course. Yeah, you always have to be careful. It's a tricky bit there, on the phone, not watching where she's going. You were ready. I was. What do you suppose is happening here? So, have a look at the situation and work out what you think you need to do. I clearly can't get by, there's no cars coming down yet. But okay. Any... Well, because you might need to mount the kerb, you're probably going to have to go really quite slow. Mm -hmm. 
Am I gonna have to? Yeah. Uh. That's fine, yeah? That's well done. That was an unusual one. That's not something you see every day. No. <laughs> so you've done the right thing, you've assessed the situation, yeah. made sure it was safe and gone. the situation you haven't had to stop yeah that's just good slowly going planning. Sometimes if you're in third, you can balance the car better. It's just, the car will tell you what it needs. Where are we going? We'll follow the road ahead. Turn left, take the first road on the left, it's just round the corner. That's where he's, he's always going down there. Right? So again, another tricky situation. Perfect. You've done the right thing, make sure it's clear before you commit. Yeah, 
it becomes a little bit awkward as you get further up, doesn't it, where it gets narrow. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it even more yeah. awkward. And again, you've managed the situation so you don't arrive there at the same time. Good stuff. Left at the end of the road. Left, yeah. So what's different stop. about this junction? Yep. <laughs> so we have to stop. Because that's red, I know cars are coming down that's that it. way. Yeah. But I can't really see, so. And again, you've done the right thing. Creeping people. Yeah, that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have been hesitation. That would no, be. no, 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 definitely not. Nicely done. And left at the end of the road. So you knew there was, you know, nobody, there, there might be somebody coming because those lights are on red. When they're on green, mm. you know nobody can come that way. But you have to be careful of that one because it might, it might lure you into going. But you've still got to stop if that might, if you know what I mean. Okay. So, tricky junction that one. I don't want to do it. It's just enough room. Really? You've got to go through nice and steady. Just keep your eye focused on the gap rather than the cars. There you go. Easy peasy. That was fine, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the travel lights will take the road to the right. Someone beat. Did they? I don't know, I think I'm hearing So this time obviously you've got to lane the way in. Yeah. Once you've gone over the stop line at the light, which is here. You have to wait till there's room there. Yeah, so, but even if that light goes red ahead of you, you can still clear the junction once you're over the stop line. Yeah. If that makes sense. Where you can turn nicely. See, I could have, but. Maybe, maybe. I could have then as well. Maybe. <laughs> I'll go after this taxi, yeah? Okay. It's only hesitancy if you miss a clear cut chance, and they were sort of half chances. See, did I rev that too much? Maybe a little bit, but not too bad. <laughs> So I was just... Have a look at what's happening up here. <laughs> you recognise this from the hazard perception. There's a lot of beeping going on this morning, isn't there? I'm, I'm, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> so there's potential for all manner of things to go wrong here. So they come there, they've stopped on a, on a green light, which is odd. Yeah, They're red now, but... Because some people in there. The problem is in uh, shopping areas like this, you, see, you quite often get people that they'll, they'll walk across without looking. You know, they maybe come out of that shop and want to be at that shop. Or even if it's like old women and that, take a bit longer <laughs> to cross, you have to be wary. It all on my theory. Don't know why I did pass. Oh, I've booked it for the 11. Excellent. I know. Today I'm at the dentist. Whoa, what's happening? No, you're up. Don't do that. That's a fabulous hill start. Look, we made diamonds, but... Yeah, he didn't leave you much room, did he? No, he really didn't. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, God. Well done. Again, you kept the crossing clear. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, this is one of those situations where you've just got to... Because nobody clearly has priority here, because there's two parked cars, mm. you've just got to try and keep your eye on what people are up to. As soon as one goes, everyone follows, though, that's Correct. the thing, really. That's right. That's nicely done. 
will follow the rod around with the right and stick him with the right hand there when it goes in the tail. Right. Yep, just follow the rod down the hill. Right. So, do you think it's good? Good. All right, now. I'm not rushing anything. No. You're adjusting to what's, yeah. to what's around you. That's, the, that's probably the most important thing, you know, as a driver. Is to react properly to what happens around you. You see what the, the taxi driver is doing now. It's, it's what you need to do. See, when you're at a red light, if you keep creeping forward, it makes the lights change. When you're flashing. <laughs> None of that works, you know. It's only like temporary traffic lights where that works. Oh, yeah, like, you know, bridges, like one way bridges and that. Yeah. It's like he's gonna set off, but yeah, that's it's just exactly stupid. the right thing to do. Get my plan your own. So he might have set off. He might have got out of the van. Mm. And again, it delivery like driver. He might be in a hurry. Like that. <laughs> Talk about expecting the unexpected. He shouldn't have come on your side of the road there, but he did. Mm. Well done. Well there done. Where are we going, Carina? Follow the road ahead, yep. When we get to the end of the road, we'll take the road to the left, please. Oh, Left, yeah. Yes, please. That's fine. Good. Well done. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fine, we'll just go somewhere else. <laughs> garage? What garage? Oh, right, okay. I was too much con I was too much concentrating then. That's fine. I didn't to listen. the next road on the right. I wouldn't have gone then, would I? No. No, you did the right thing. Me always going into first when setting off, that's not a bad thing. That's okay, it? yep. Oh, once you've stopped first, throw it again, definitely. Unless you're pointing down, you know, maybe. Oh, yeah, like, there, I couldn't have, because I needed power to set off. You're absolutely right. But to the next road on the right. Mm. It's just at the end of this wall. That's nicely positioned. It's a difficult one to get your position right, that one. Mm. Easiest thing in the world to cut the corner. Now let's find a convenient place to pull over somewhere. We'll have a a review. So how's it going? Fine. You feel that uh, you're able to cope with what's around you? So. We've had a lot of um, more unusual situations today, a bit more traffic, lots of things happening, um, some unusual stuff going on. How do you think you've dealt with that? 
Okay. Okay. I haven't really stressed and like shouted you. <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> what were you, were you planning on doing some of that? <laughs> <laughs> I think all he can all he can do is look at what's around you and manage the situation the best he can. Uh, and other people will do stuff that winds the living daylights out of you. Mm. Um, if you get annoyed, it, it impacts on your driving rather than theirs. And you, you sort of, I know you're increasing the chances you've been involved with some other some other person doing something daft. So you're managing the situations around you. So it's it isn't just about. Um, it's an interesting point here, is it's not just about the traffic and the situation you see, it's it's about the emotional state you find yourself in. Because uh, driving can wind you up if you let it, it can wind you up massively. I never get wound up though. Mm. Not ever. You're okay. <laughs> you do sometimes get exasperated because you look at the things people do and think, you know, like that woman who pulled up double park and then opened the door when you were coming through the gap. Straight in the walk, no one coming. No. It's, so if you get wound up, yeah, increasing the chances of you being involved in an accident later on when somebody else does something daft. So it's silly, like, you think about your own health, like, come on, you just don't do that. <laughs> no, I mean, she's put herself massively at risk. For all she knew, this might have been your second lesson. Mm. She could have been stepping out into certain death, you know. Well, you it's like panicked. a big lorry were coming and couldn't see mm. it. Mm. So it's, but we're, we're all in a hurry these days, that's the problem. So you're managing the situations around you. Some of the, the really nice things that happened is, is you're spotting it nice and early and you're making adjustments so that you're not arriving at the gap the same time as the other cars. That's not only is that good driving, it saves you a ton of it. It must be test your horn day today, I don't know, it's just. It's a taxi, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, God, I'm not outside really anyone's house. <laughs> so not only does it keep you safer, but it saves you a ton of fuel. Drive it that way. You'll, sit, you'll you'll use about thirty percent less fuel than you would do any, any other way, and that's important when you're paying for it yourself. Yes. How do you think you dealt with the traffic lights and such, the pedestrian crossings that we've come across? Trying to like go a bit slower mm. so then I could miss it, but then if not, putting me on brake, I feel, I feel more better with that now okay. from last week. So a couple of other little bits just to sort of finish off the, the thing. Do you know what the, the zigzag lines mean on the approach to them? Do you know what they're about? The, uh, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you. You know what I'm. I'm that on, didn't I'm come up on my theory, so it's fine. <laughs> so we don't need to bother with that. <laughs> Those lines on the road. Do you know what they mean? No. Not allowed to park there, and you mustn't overtake the, the vehicle that's at the front. Only that much, though. Hmm? Yeah, there's it's about it's that two or three car lengths. The idea is, you see, it keeps the crossing clear, hmm. so you shouldn't park on them can't overtake the leading vehicle. The only other thing really we need to think about at pedestrian crossings is um, not to wave people across. You know, like if you stop at a zebra, somebody has to see people are dithering, don't wave them out, because if they step out and somebody overtakes you, it's kind of your fault then. So let them make their own mind up. The ones that we haven't encountered, flashing yellow, what does that you tell you? Go. As long as it's clear. Um, same as green. We think of green as meaning go means you may proceed if the way ahead is clear. So if there's somebody about, you still can't go. And you've already done it without us talking about it. You kept the crossing, crossing. You kept the crossing clear when we're in that, that queue of traffic. There's some good stuff in there. You dealt with some tricky situations. Should we do a bit more of the same? Yeah. When you go when you're ready. So I could set off in second, really, because... Well, give it a go and see what happens. Okay. Just wave, look at that. Oh, just watch it over there. That's a good look, isn't it? Off and sing, and use some gas this time. It's fine. I'm trying, like, I'm not listening to what they told no. me, but I feel like I do need, like, coming to these more busy junctions, like how we used to just do in removers, one that at first. Yeah. And that's why I like to use. People are always trying to genuinely be helpful, but sometimes it can be confusing. Mm. Um, people don't always understand, even experienced drivers, the level of clutch control that you possess 
is staggeringly good. And most people can't do it. Because they get taught the other way. Correct. If you get yeah. So, interesting situation here. Tell me what you might expect around the corner. Cars. What else? Know. Where was he going on that bike? Up here. He's still on the path, but he might not have done. Wow, can't second go up this. Try it and see. Well, it is, but it's yeah. <laughs> good for third time. Should we pull up on the left? Oh, why? <laughs> well, let's have a little, a little experiment. Why, 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 why? Now, this might all, this might all go pear-shaped. You know the technique that you use when you're not using any gas? Yeah. Let's see if you can get the car and do that here. Yeah, I probably could. It may not work. Yeah, I'm Was that because of the technique? Because you were a bit quick? Because of them? Yeah. Okay. No gas then. I've got you covered. No, I can thing it and anyway. I will bring no. Fine. If you can do that, you can do anything. Am I actually gonna do this is bad for the car, you know, probably. It's not, you know. No. Really? Absolutely not. The level of clutch control that's required to do that is staggering and beyond your average driver. There you go. On you go when you're ready. It's easy. <laughs> We're turning right. Uh, yeah, we'll follow the road around. Oh so I'd <laughs> so, This is a, you can't see that though. That's fine. I thought it would go straight. Right at the end of the road. Like with this this bit. Next next I'd time you're out with one of your mates, get them to do see if you can get them to do what you just did. I bet you they cannot. Now then, it's a tricky one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What can you do about what that? What can I actually do? I'm gonna to have to really go. Right. Look under cars. That's it. That's all you can do. Guys. Until you can satisfy yourself that it's clear. I know you can do about that. Mm -hmm. They weren't there when you committed to go. Yeah. That's fantastic, well done. You did say right, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Follow the road again. Here, where should I, what should I set off him? I'll let you decide. get a chance because there's some travel lights up there. Mm. It's just a case of waiting for it. Sometimes at this junction you have to wait ages. I'm only going where I'm safe, not I'm yeah, bothered about anyone else. That's exactly So this isn't this uh, you can fail on no, not going no, when you no. can though. You, you can fail on not going when you can clearly go. You've not had a single opportunity here. So you just gotta keep scanning and look for a gap. Yeah. And that's the first opportunity you'd had. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Boom. Now we're. <laughs> <laughs> After the garage. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Turn left. That's it, a bit more. Interesting. What? <laughs> oh. Expect the unexpected. 
So what you've got there is somebody who was looking for somewhere, suddenly saw it break to a stop quickly. They didn't break soon, did they? We'll follow the wagon. Yeah. So again, that's nicely done. Interesting situation. <laughs> What's my life um, interesting? What, me breaking? No, no, they're, they're, they're blocking the road that way. Hmm, it is a bit hard. So we've got quite a little bit of the van there, push a bit quick. Left of the end. But you quite often get that with delivery drivers, because they're looking for somewhere. It's because I can't see, so I wanted to stop it. Creep creep again. Yeah. So how was your control there? Good. Like, mm. right, so I'm scared of like hills, but I can still do it if you get me. Right. Oh my. Lift at the roundabout, please. trickier junctions where they're either going to be busier or your view's a little restricted. You take a little bit of speed off on the way in, just on the last little bit, give yourself more time to do the observations, left of the end. So like this one, if you take a little bit of extra speed off a little earlier, you might get a little bit of an early view. More of a chance of keeping it going then. Yeah, so, I get you now. So actually by coming in slower, you get in quicker, right at the end of the road. I couldn't really hear though. No. That's for sure. <laughs> no, that wouldn't work here. <laughs> Could have no one was there. Well, really. that's right. I mean, it does. The, the, the principle works wherever you are. Mm. So again, when we're turning right, took ourselves right in. You see, he's left himself this way a bit. Where we are, that'll allow a car to come through this side. Uh, really? <laughs> well, not at the minute, but when we get a little bit further forward, it will. Yeah. And it's the same deal here. You've just got to wait until you get the right size gap. Take a bit of time for that. Yeah. But you always know you're going to get a gap in the traffic from the right because there's traffic lights up there. Mm -hmm. but not always that side. Not always this side, no. See, mm, couldn't have gone still anyway. No, that wasn't there. That's, that's not a clear cut opportunity. If I go and it's dangerous, you can fail on that side. You can. You? You're right. So really, your best bet is waiting, but not too long. Should I have handbrake in neutral, or is this fine? I would stay on first, but you might want to think about putting the handbrake on, because we were looking for an opportunity to go. But this isn't thingying anything, because no, no. I'm not using it. No, that's right. But we generally think if a pause becomes a weight, stick the handbrake on and ease the pressure on your foot. But here we're looking for a gap. Mm, I couldn't see. <laughs> well, this makes life right, difficult, okay. doesn't it? Oh, it's fine. Ba -do, ba -do. That was fine, isn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't have failed on that. No, no, he was turning right. Yeah. And he was far enough away. Follow the run ahead. That is busy. It is. That was me saying it wasn't busy before. Mm. And again, you've managed the situation here, so that there's a chance you're going to be able to keep going. And as long as that isn't holding people up behind, then we're fine. I'm not, am I really? No, no, no. I mean, if you're crawling up there at 10 miles an hour, then yeah. What are you doing, Tony? It's fine. Go straight on. Yes, please. Well, it wasn't actually, it was ours, but they took it. We'll go left and then. It's on our side of the road. Yeah, we'll follow the road around to the right this time. 
So they should have waited for us, but they decided not to. Some of them Yeah, it does make them think they can bully their way out. Straight on? Yes, please. Road on the left. That's not just where this car's going. Sharp corners as well. It is. So this is always an interesting road. I know. Again, you've managed the situation around you. That's the most important thing. You spotted the car coming out, you spotted him coming out of there. See, I don't know why I only got 45 as a perception. <laughs> Still past that, but just <laughs> literally. I think I, I must have spotted it too, too early. Possibly. Must have done. Must have done. <laughs> well, it's not a very. Uh, I'm not a fan of the hazard perception test, to be fair. It's very easy. Like, I think it is with a CGI. Yeah. This is a much better test of whether you can spot hazards. The actual driving. One on LDC booklets a lot better. Thingy, video thing. All right. Because that's like real life, isn't it? Well, we think so. <laughs> I mean, we've also on ours we've got the CGI clips as well. Of course, we've got all mm. fourteen. There were some software packages. I've only got about ten, I think. But I think real life video is much better. This is where I could get it in gear, wasn't it? Oh, it's terrible, that. I was like, I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> and again, coming in slower. I won't get done for that, will I? No, no. It gives you the opportunity to get to take really good effective observation and then mm. keep the car actually rolling. It's, again, it's better for, for fuel economy too. Yeah. That I've been to see you. Left at the end of this road. Nicely done. I'm just scared if I don't stop. I get, I get done out slow, don't I? Right. It's all about reading the road around you. So these situations here, although the, the speed you're approaching is okay, we're sort of on the edge for being surprised by things. So when you get a situation like that, don't be don't be scared about just yeah, easing the gas off. Twenty now, but we're a little bit quicker earlier. Oh. But twenty might even be too fast in some situations. Yeah, that's fine. So, Expect the unexpected. We've got left at the end of the rod. Oh, you push your <laughs> nose. <laughs> so, so you quite often find these wagons parked here, where you would you would take the pace off, expecting that somebody's going to do something unusual. And we've seen a bit of that today already, haven't we? Yeah, a load. You don't really expect it when you're a passenger. No. Like you, you just don't think of it. Well, but when you're a driver, you think here. There you go. That's the potential danger. So by killing the speed, you're ready for it if it happens. It's but horrible. That's, that a bit of, that's a bit of local knowledge, isn't it, that lets you know that. Yeah. But see anywhere else, really. You can get caught out. Mm. So anywhere where you're not sure, just take the pace off. Right at the end of the road.
more than likely. More the junction's like this where it's really closed this way. That's nicely done. Oh, they're not doing it. We'll follow oh, the road. Yes, it's a... We'll follow the road around. To the left, and then turn left at the end of the house. Oh, I'm doing this junction. This left. Yes, yeah. please. Okay. Okay. Oh. Again, by coming in steady, you've had the opportunity and it to turn in. Yeah. It turn in yeah. So that little bit of pace off on the way in gets you out quick. Cool. Stop. You should. The stupid or something. Why do you think you didn't? Maybe I'm going a bit slow, but because I'm farting, what? Oh, I don't know. But an indicator of health. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's my fault. <laughs> Fuck the road around the left. Remind me. No. I want to know these things. This. This is terrible. Yeah. I yeah. Know. It's Kamikaze Alley. This. Oops, the daisy. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't like stop it. <laughs> I just stalled. It's not my fault. People. How am I meant to go really slow around here? Well, look at what's happening. People just open car doors, they just step out. This is what I'm like when I'm walking down here, to be fair. She's not watching where she's going. Mind on other things, it's market day. Maybe mm. dashing to the post office, maybe in a hurry. Dude, I can't. Again. What I don't understand is there's L plates on the top of the car. This could be your first lesson for all they know. Mm. Why would you run out in front of a learner driver car? Would you let me parallel park down here? What? I, yeah. There's, I love parallel parking. There'll not be a space, unfortunately, because it's market day, but we'll find one another day. Yeah, I have. Absolutely, but I let you parallel park. You can parallel park anyway. I could go to second. I didn't know how to. I would go in first. Yeah. Oh, follow the road around. That was fine because of the, the, the sheer number of hazards that were around. So we'll follow the road to the left and then left at the roundabout. It stopped, didn't it, round it here? It has. Yeah. To the left. To yeah. the left, please, yeah. But I know this very well because I teach my friends it all the time. So don't be scared. Nobody seems to know the rules here. I do, I do. Good well, for you. And I should have gone <laughs> and I would have shouted at them to go. <laughs> That of course no, makes things see. a bit awkward. I could have gone. Oh, right, I'm going. <laughs> no, I know the rules. I do. My dad taught me and then I teach everyone else. Which yeah, we'll take the right hand lane and follow the road ahead. Right, so next time I put my indicator on when I'm going down there. Okay. <laughs> now I have to do that like he's doing. Uh, no, because you're going ahead here, you're okay. I don't think he's okay. sure what he's up to. <laughs> he's copying other drivers. Oh no, he's probably confused. So some really good stuff today. Dealt with some tricky situations. For the likes of that, you, you were aware of it, you'd already come off the gas a tiny bit to allow him to go because you knew it was going to... By carefully managing or that you're, you're basically a manager of other people's well, driving. Going straight on. Follow the road ahead, yeah please. I thought I was gonna turn, that's why I was steady. <laughs> and then left of the traffic lights, please. It's 
It's all green. <laughs> this is all caused by people just watching the car in front instead of watching the situation. So if you're watching all of the situation, you know it's on green, you can get ready and be ready to go straight away. I know, I'm far back. Left. Yes, please. But if everybody was watching the situation when the light went green, they'd all pull away at the same time. But they don't. Really, it's just one on one. Yeah, one yeah. go. Yeah. Afraid so. Again, more interesting situations. That always is down here. There you go, there's another one. <laughs> Sometimes get a guide from the other lights or from the pedestrian crossings. That one goes first, then that one, isn't it? Uh, where are we? Might be us next. No, no, you're right. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> no, it's because I noticed it when I was there. So you'll know that once those lights go to red, then it's somebody else's turn. So you can think about getting ready. Who first, yeah? Planning and anticipation. So good. And then left of the next drive. Tra traffic lights? Traffic lights. Don't like being in first. Yeah, once you're moving, second thing. To change it straight away, I'm doing it right, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Does the car feel like it's operating correctly for what you wanted to do? So it's proper revving and I feel like that ain't right, really. Well, sometimes you need to be... You know, putting a bit of revs on to get it away. Am I in? Am I carrying on? We'll take the road <laughs> to the right that takes us okay. underneath and around the Queens. This next road on the right. I thought you were in his. <laughs> Is all right? Oh, am I all right? Yeah, yeah, you're fine, yeah. They don't have indicators. They don't, but the body language of the car tells you where they're going, doesn't it? Yeah, but you don't. She's silly, she's silly. Oh, I'd get done for this, you know. No, yeah, we're fine. Oh! So start having a look up the road, you can see a gap coming eventually. Is there one after this? One, two, three, yellow the van. Car? Yellow van coming in here, though. Yeah. I can't go. No. You know you're going to get a chance, though, because those lights up there will go red. I'm not doing this wrong, am I? I couldn't no, no. have gone. Would you have gone? No. Nope. We probably would have. There's <laughs> traffic lights over the hill, so you know you're going to get a gap. No, I shouldn't do this. I'd have failed on that. I should nope, have landed. that's fine. How about this next, this white car? Yeah. Is there a gap after him? Now that's the first clear gap. What one in? 
So there's not a lot you can do about it. No, you could have put the handbrake on. I know, I thought I could have gone straight away, but... Oh, I don't know. I could have gone now. It's because I'm working it too much. There were gaps that you perhaps could have gone into, but you'd have had to probably go for it. Mm. And if you get that wrong, you stall, then you're in trouble. So I think, I think it played about the way I would have done it. I might have put the handbrake on, but that's the only difference. Oh, you, you would. <laughs> so, not to worry about. And again, your speed on the approach gives it's you a I'm left hand in you. Okay. So your speed on approach gives you the opportunity to scan and keep it moving. So once you're a little bit further back in the queue, obviously you can just wait for the lights to change and then just get ready. If you're at the front, you need to be ready. Mm -hmm. And I suppose today we should just turn right into the car park. Yeah. It's an <laughs> I'm not sure I can remember where it is, but I'm sure you can. Yeah. It's gone all right, hasn't it? Okay. I'm not mm. stressed around. Dealt with a lot of stuff today. A lot of interesting situations. Covered loads. That's the right thing to do. You <laughs> think they've all had really, really posh cars, wouldn't you? To the teacher. Do you want to park? Yeah, well, I don't think we're allowed to use those ones. We can just tuck into the left and the next, along those bays. Okay. <laughs> I think whoever's bays they are might get, uh, might get a bit knocked. If well, not here, though. <laughs> Good stuff. That's what you want on this. This'll do fine, yeah. yeah. There's, uh, we've covered lots of, lots of bits and pieces from each one. So what's probably good, I'll, I'll leave you to, if you want to pick out the ones, have a look in the pedestrian crossings, traffic lights, and the busier junctions ones. And have a look at which topics you think that you've covered. And then maybe on the next one we'll fill in the gaps on the ones that we haven't got. Does that make sense? Yeah. You do your, re your reflection. So how, how do you feel that went? Really good. All right, isn't it? <laughs> Loads of tricky stuff. Um, You've done most of it, hardly any blemishes at all. Some real tricky situations, which you've managed nicely. I just keep asking, like, would I get done for this? Would I get done? Because I'm right. like, don't know to... Well, each time, you know, when you have those questions, I mean, I'll, obviously I'll happily answer the question you've got, but it's all in you. The uh, the bits where you were asking before, it's... I think that sometimes we feel that, oh, I should have gone, I should have gone, I should have gone. There wasn't a gap. Well, there was a couple where you could have gone if you'd really gone for it, but... That could still, I, I could still get done flat, really. But it's, it's none of it was hesitancy. Oh, yeah, God, if you go on, it's, you've created, you've made somebody slow down or change direction, that's a definite fail. Where if you were slightly hesitant, you might get a minor. But you weren't in that situation because there wasn't a gap big enough. And if they turn around and say that, what can you do? Is the cameras in the car? No. no. Well, then they could purposely fail. <laughs> <laughs> the what? They're all really nice. Especially mm. Pony Fat, the examiners here are great. They really are nice. Um, and they don't like failing people, you know, despite what people think. And when you get in the car, the, sh the sheet's clean. 
So there's nothing goes on. If you don't make any mistakes, they don't mark anything down. So we fail ourselves, really. Fantastic session today. Same time next week? You want to return? Yeah, please. Have a reflect. What's the date? Are we in the November next week? We're not, are we? No. We're nearly out, though. Nearly. Cool. Next week is... That'll be the 30th, is that? That's so, like, date. Halloween weekend. <laughs> oh, no, I'll be the... All oh, right. Because it's Halloween next week. I don't know, I don't know. I Something like that. Oh no, it's the 23rd, 20, 23rd next week. The 30th week. Oh yeah, because I'm not off out these two weekends. I'm off out, I'm saving myself Halloween. I think I'll make a job of it. Mm. <laughs> Fantastic.